we found restricted posterior torsion on Chris's left side. That's the name of this technique, restricted posterior torsion, page B5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his knee up into our push broom position from pelvis one. That by itself moves that left, in his case, ilium into some posterior torsion. I'm also going to use my forearm on his PSIS to encourage that kind of posterior movement that was restricted on him. So the push broom technique is named that because I'm holding his leg like a broom as opposed to like that or like that. One hand under the knee, one under the ankle. And then I gently walk it up past 90 degrees. That's more comfortable to bring the knee around in front of the body. Is that okay, Chris? Even on elderly clients, even on people that are motion restricted, it's going to be more comfortable with the knee past 90. So here I'm using the knee and then the PSIS to encourage this side of his pelvis to come into posterior torsion. How are we doing? And he just took that big breath and is settling in. I would have cued that if he hadn't have been ahead of me. I might say something, just relax into this, let your, the front of your left side open up, let your right, let, let your left sitting bone drop. Any questions? Yeah, is your elbow right on the sacral base? And is it straight down, or do you have a directional force stabilizing that? I'm going to come up and show you again. You want to hand me that pelvis there? Forearm. It's not my elbow so much as my forearm, and it is right on the PSIS. So it's the forearm on the PSIS that's encouraging that motion of that whole bone, that kind of thing, pushing it that way. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, your um, direction of force on the knee of your tractioning, tractioning up the body and in. The question is direction of force on the knee. I'm really lifting the knee into that push broom position, which puts his left ilium into a posterior torsion. So it's this way. Good. Okay. That was restricted posterior torsion of the ilium. B5.